Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to British Jackie. Here I am, your host. I am British Jackie. I'm on camera one. There I am, right there. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got a fabulous show planned for you this evening. You won't believe it. We've got so much. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Who Wore Better two year anniversary edition of British Jackie this evening. We've got a fabulous guest joining us. Ricardo Perez Pineda is joining us this evening to talk about his work in sustainability technology and in helping people who are struggling with money and struggling in their societies to, to invest their money in, into, into interesting and, and sustainable things to keep the communities going and strong and alive. So we've got all that planned for you today, which is why I'm talking so fast for you here. So what we're going to do first, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce you to a uh, project. So it's a, it's a two year anniversary of Who Wore It Better, right? So what that means is that I'm going to be talking about this other project that I did, the very first thing that we'll get right to it here. There we are. We'll get right to it here, basically this here, this is the Ski Bunny game that was the first game I ever made. I made it in a game engine called Game Maker, right? And it's not, it's not publishable because it contains pornographic material as well as illegal content, as you can see right there. If anybody knows, anybody know out there what Ski Bunny is? Let's put the phone number there. Maybe we can get a phone call here. A Ski Bunny is a number of things. It's a woman who skis out in the hills of Aspen, right? It's a woman who skis out in the hills of Vale or Aspen and wears a cute outfit with a, you know, a nice pom-pom on top of her head, right? So it's that kind of ski bunny. This is a different kind of ski bunny. Let's see if you can guess what kind of ski bunny it is. We'll start with just a level one. Take a look here at what we've made. What we made. This is back in 2010. Uh, what we've got there. Do we got that? Yeah, so we're going to play this video for you very briefly. And we'll talk through it so you can kind of see. There's music in there as well. And what do you think of that, ladies and gentlemen? You see what's going on there? There's a ski bunny. That's, that's the main character, the avatar, right? She's going to get all of those lines of that ski, let's call it. And she's going to avoid those men. Those are actually pictures of the bad men that, that the ski bunny met, that the ski bunny met during her time. She was acting like this, like this, uh, had this, had this behavior as, as part of the repertoire, right? So what happens when when she collides with one of these, when these one of these men catches up with her, these are the, these are the monsters. Those men are actually actually pictures of those very same men that abused her, assaulted her. Ah, look at that! Isn't that horrific? So there we are. That was the level one, the most classic level of all of the ski bunny game, I would say. Right. So let's go back. We'll take a look at one other level here today. What do you think? Let's have a look at level two. What happens when you win level two? So this is level two, ladies and gentlemen. Level two is a bit more intense than level one, right? You want a video game to be progressively more difficult. It certainly is. Look at all those men roaming around and they're going in circles. It's quite challenging. You don't want to get caught by one of those. And you notice that, that the blind cocaine is way up there in the corner, right? She's going to go through all those roving men who want to attack her, basically, to get that drug. Now she's in peaceful land with her favorite, her favorite drug loving boyfriend on the couch in the living room. They're kissing, that's what that is, yep. And now she gets all of that, all those drugs, right? It's just free for the taking, all that love. She can just go around, there's nobody chasing her, there's nobody after her. This was the flip side of the experience as a ski bunny, right? Ski bunny is a woman who meets Africa. Now she kisses them out, she's eaten all those cocaine lines, and now she's able to go back and eliminate the enemy. She comes into a supernova ski bunny, she touches those enemies, and they they fall to the ground and they disappear. Isn't that fantastic, ladies and gentlemen? The, the strange life of a ski bunny work we're sort of demonstrating for you here today on British Jackie. It's a very strange thing. We'll take another look at one more level. So British, so ski bunny, no, it's not very well known. It's not very well, here I am. Did you miss me? I missed you, I always do. When I'm not on the screen, it's like, where, where are my friends? Where's my audience? Hi, so nice to have you. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. Mad cap and fast pace. So what we've got here, we've got level four. Now, not many people know this about Ski Bunny, but she was a securities analyst at a small hedge fund in New York City, all during the same time that she was acting, doing those behaviors, doing those, those behaviors that some might call crazy, some might call out of control, some might call disturbing, a two year period. She was, she was actively doing that while she was doing this as well. We'll demonstrate it with the game. We'll let the game speak for itself here. See what you can make out of this, ladies and gentlemen. So what you're seeing... You are fired. See, those are her bosses, those, those roving... Oh, there we are. Those roving men, the shadows. And she's got to catch that Wall Street Journal. Right, she's got to catch up with that Wall Street Journal. The phone rings. 
Praise the black market. She answers it, and money shows up here. They pay her now. She's off at the thumb. What does she do with the money? You see what's in the, in the lower right corner? That's right. So she's going to put the money and get the drugs and turn it back into a steamer. And then she's going to run into her bosses, and they're going to fire her. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was the last level that we made on this project that, that, uh, that I worked on, because... Where can you go from there? You're fired whether you do or you don't. It was quite depressing, so I stopped the project right there. Ladies and gentlemen, here I am. Here I am.